Ooh, that's that's blown out, isn't it? Come on, can we get some metering on the light here? Hey, what's up, guys? I normally only show Jitter, which stands for Jerry and the Raw. I, I usually only show this over on Patreon. This is a Patreon exclusive series. Uh, but I figured that today, here, let me try turning this light on. It might look a little better. I figured today, uh, and it's going to be short. It's not going to be, this isn't going to be a really long one, guys. Um, but I figured that I'd go ahead and shoot this one live. So normally I shoot it, I upload it. It's an unlisted video. I only put it over on Patreon because these episodes are, well, they're for patrons. Mostly I just talk about personal stuff and uh, things like that. But I know you guys are tired about hearing that on uh, on the main YouTube channel here. Hey, everybody, I see you all in the chat. What's up, guys? I know I haven't uploaded in forever. So the first thing I'd like to do is address that and say that uh, a lot of stuff been going on. I've been mainly focusing on live streaming on Twitch. I'm gonna be honest, YouTube hasn't been a huge priority for me the last couple of months, mainly just cause, uh, well, you know what? I don't even have a good fucking reason. Let's be honest here, I really don't. Wow, that metering sucks. Let me turn this light off. That's too much light. But anyways, I, I haven't been doing a lot over there. Man, I, why does iPhone blow everything out so bad? Jesus Christ, this is terrible. Can I apply a filter? There we go. That looks a little sexier. Hey, what's up, Brandon? Over there, if you guys are watching this on Patreon like you usually do, um, uh, I'm doing it live publicly tonight. Norm normally, I don't do these episodes public, but I figure it's so damn late at night, I don't think a lot of people are going to watch in the first place. But if you guys want to see the other 99 episodes and you want to see episodes moving forward, patreon.com forward slash barnacles. I'll link in the video description down here um, after the show, but... Usually this is my series that I just talk about whatever's on my mind, right? I don't, I, it, there's, there's no like real goal, but today there actually is a little bit of a goal and that is one, it's the hundredth episode. So I figured, okay, that's a milestone. That's pretty cool. By the way, that is my setup behind me. That's three 50 inch screens guys. And then I got my stream deck. That's what we're going to talk about a little bit now. And, uh, so anyways, this is last minute guys, like this, this episode is supposed to be shot. And it's going to go unlisted afterwards. So if you guys are watching this live, you're going to be the only ones that probably see it because I'm probably going to unlist the video. Uh, all right. So where do I want to start? So today, today, hey, what's up, Nate? What's up, Todd? Anyways, today I decided that I wanted to get back into programming. I haven't been doing software development for the better part of a year now. And that's what I specialized in for the most for most of my life. So I decided... That'd be a good idea to jump back in or jump back on the horse, so to speak. So I went to my buddy's house today. Greg, if you guys don't know Greg, he goes by Gax9 on the internet. He's uh, one of my best friends on planet Earth. He's, I, I call him family. And so uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually wearing a shirt and a jitter. If you guys don't normally watch jitter because it's Patreon only, patreon.com forward slash barnacles. Um, usually I don't have a shirt on. Usually I'm placed in the house like in the bathtub or just sitting on the front porch. Yes, this is live, Jim. Well, unless... It, Unless it's not. Right now it's live. If you're watching at, I don't know, around midnight today, whatever day it is. Well, I figure it'll be any day you watch. Anyways, yeah. If you're watching this and it says it's live, it's live. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today is the coding side of things. So today we had some massive progress. So I thought I was going to be a lot rustier at software development than I actually am. Because after not doing it for so long, I figured the Visual Studio would have outrun me. The .NET Framework iterations would have, would have steamrolled me. I didn't think I'd remember as much of the nuances or be as quick at it. Um, yeah, this is YouTube. This is YouTube. <laughs> but, but anyways, uh, I started programming this little stream deck thing today. So this right here, if you guys don't know, Elgato released an SDK, an official SDK. So that stands for software development kit for uh, all you nerdy types. They released an SDK for this thing. And uh, the software development kit, unfortunately, is only supported on C++, and you can also do some scripting with it and uh, JavaScript and JSON, because it turns out the entire Stream Deck, the way you communicate to it is, uh, is basically through JavaScript and HTML and CSS. It's, it's not a complicated device. So anyways, since there's an official SDK now, somebody wrote a wrapper called, uh, what was it called? Like Stream, Stream Sharp, I think, or Deck Sharp or Sharp Deck or something. Anyways, it's on GitHub. And it's basically just a .NET wrapper for the Stream Deck. So we went ahead and pulled it up. It's, the documentation on it absolutely sucks. The documentation on the SDK from Corsair and Elgato pretty much sucks. But we were able to go through and weed through it and figure it out start to finish. And we ported hard drive LED. I don't have it running on this one right now because we worked on it on a different computer at my friend's house. But uh, tomorrow I'll have all the code for it. And... Uh, 
So, so anyways, the hard drive LED program is completely ported now, so I can actually use any button I want on the Stream Deck to show my hard drive LED for the computer. Now, that in itself is kind of cool because, one, I don't like having the icon in the task tray, so I ported it now to a physical device that sits on my desk. And uh, not, not that kind of wrapper, Richie. Not the, not the like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, wrapper. We're talking, we're talking about, like, a wrapper that, you know, something that wraps around something else. So, anyways... We figured it out, we got it working, hard drive LED worked, and I know everything that I need to know now to, uh, to basically go into the Stream Deck and create a full WMI compliant plugin that doesn't require a third party program like Hardware Info 64, which is what the current plugin needs. Um, this will all go directly to Windows 10. Once I'm done with the plugin, I will be doing a Codegasm episode on it on barnard.com, this channel right here, so make sure you're subbing if you're not. And once I have that done, you guys will not only know how to program that plugin, but you'll have the foundation you need for literally creating any plugin you want in C Sharp. And a reasonably easy explanation as to how to use the device. Because it is a very good, the Stream Deck SDK is very, very confusing. It's very confusing, but I think we can demystify it in a video. Hey, Dennis, thank you for that $2 tip. I appreciate it. I'm doing pretty good tonight. Doing pretty good. I still need to eat. I've only eaten once today, so I got to eat again. Uh, I'm going to be bad. The keto thing went well for a long time. I've been slipping on it, though, lately. I need to, I need to get back to full keto, uh, but I'm still way down. I'm 294 as of this morning. I was 336 when I started, so I've lost, I've lost a shitload of weight. Um... But, but I definitely have to get back on board. And I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not paying too much attention to the chat. These Jitter episodes, otherwise known as Jerry and the Raw, are, are Patreon-only videos. And I usually shoot them live as unlisted and then release them only on Patreon. Tonight, I'm releasing this one just publicly because I figured, what the hell, I didn't want to click the little plug in, the little drop-down menu and go to unlisted. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'll do it for all you guys. And plus, you guys haven't seen me in a while. If you haven't been paying attention to me on social media or Twitter where I'm active every single... Or sorry, Twitch. or you know, uh, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram... If you haven't been watching me there, then you're probably wondering where the fuck I went because I haven't been on YouTube very much. So, but that's all changing. I am coming back to YouTube. As a matter of fact, I have a huge pile of things I'm going to be reviewing, guys. So, this is the next one in line. This is a T16000 uh, HOTAS setup. I'm going to be reviewing that from Thrustmaster and doing a giveaway. I also have a T300 RS wheel. I have a ton of gear from Razer. I have these headphones from a company called Neura that are like unlike any headphones you've ever seen before. They're basically in-ear and over-ear headphones all at the same time. So I got a ton of technology reviews coming up. The Codegasm thing I'm going to be getting back into. A lot of tutorial and Windows stuff coming up. I just had to take I had to take a break from the YouTube thing. The YouTube thing was so toxic. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sure I'm not even paying attention to comments, but I'm sure there's more than a couple of comments that have already been very unsavory. Uh, but I just need to take a break from it. I need to take a break from it. Twitch, Twitch is a completely different experience. We've been having a blast. If you guys haven't seen me over on Twitch, it's Twitch TV forward slash Barnacles, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Monday or 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do 5 p.m. So the other side of the world can get me. But, but I can do stuff like this. I got, look at that. See, look at that. I got RGB. I got the RGB's LEDs on this side. I got RGB LEDs on this side. They're all controlled through an Akai LPD-8 MIDI controller, through a DMX controller. In addition to that, I also have a huge-ass fog machine down here that uh, that gets up and go, hell, I even have a leaf blower somewhere around here. Check this out. You guys want to see all the crazy shit I've been doing on my live stream? That's a leaf blower. That's a $20, $20 leaf blower that I control with this knob. Just because. There's, 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 there's no other reason for it. Literally just because. That is the only reason that that exists. And, uh, uh, so anyways, anyways, hugely random jitter tonight. None of this was planned. I was just really, really excited that, uh, we were able to start developing after a year of downtime, we were able to get the stream deck thing all figured out. We were able to create a plugin that worked. We even figured out how to package the plugin, despite them having literally no documentation to speak of and the tool having no command line documentation or no real helpful errors. We were able to get everything working. So... There's going to be a lot of plugins coming for the Stream Deck. The Stream Deck is probably one of my favorite peripherals ever created. Um, and I'll put a link to all this stuff down in the video description if you guys are curious about, curious about it through my Amazon affiliate. Because when you buy stuff through Amazon affiliate using my link, I get a little bit of money. And I like money. I don't know about you, but I like money. I like surviving. I like being able to move on to the next quest with a little bit of Skrilla in my pocket. Uh, yeah, a lot of people want, want the Stream Deck to work on Windows 7. I saw that comment. Uh, and there's no reason really why it couldn't. Hey, Matt D, thank you for that $5, dude. I appreciate it. And also, just a quick apology to my patrons. 
I know that this is a patron only series and my 760 some patrons, I know that you guys like to see these things exclusively and we usually keep the family really small and the format is way different than this. I, I, at this point, I wouldn't even call this a jitter really because usually the jitter thing's more personal talking about stuff. I'm, this is more of just kind of like an update on everything that went on today because I'm really happy that we got the stream deck stuff working. So, so this is a little bit different than probably what my patrons are expecting, but it is episode 100. It's a round number. My OCD told me, oh, what the fuck? My YouTuber uh, family hasn't heard from me in a while, so I figured I'd give them an update. I am not dead. I am not going away. YouTube is very much a huge part of my plan moving forward. It's just I needed to take a break. I just needed to take a break, guys. Hey, what's up, lady? Andy Moser, my man. What is up, dude? Beverage on me. Glad you're stoked. Thank you for that $10 tip. I appreciate it. I wasn't expecting... I keep forgetting YouTube has Super Chat. Like, I did not expect to get any tips or anything here. This was just literally me wanting to share what's going on with you guys. Well, my beautiful wife is downstairs making me a meal because I haven't eaten much today. And I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a room tour. I know this is a shitty room tour compared to my normal ones because it's so dirty. But that's the floor with all the shit on it. That's the racing simulator. Just to give you guys a quick update on the racing simulator. I love the sim pedals, by the way. Those are real Willwood, Willwood parts on there. Uh, I need to mount the shifter and, uh, oh, it's already mounted. Oh, how'd I do that? That that should not already be mounted. But anyways, that's mounted. I got an e-brake, gated shifter, uh, Fnatic uh, V2, Club Sport V2. Although Fnatic just released a linear drive motor, which I'm really excited to use. Uh, I also have the other wheel set up, the T300RS, which isn't nearly as good as a wheel, but I want to try them both out. Uh, all the audio transducer stuff I'm putting on the simulator, that stuff's all still a go. Uh, virtual reality, getting that set up. I also have the old butt kicker set up here I'm going to use. This is so I can attach a transducer right under the seat, just to thump me when I'm shifting gears and to give me engine feeling, like sensation. Uh, see what else is going on over here. Um, 3D printers. You guys know the 3D printing stuff is coming back. I'm really excited about that. Hey, thank you for that $10 tip. Can I scroll the comments? Andrew Hunt said, uh, hey, we all like money, right? <laughs> also, keep being used. Sometimes we all need to take a break from social media. Dude, it was getting toxic. Guys, it was getting so fucking toxic. I, I was, uh, and, and I'm sorry if I seem like I cuss a lot more and stuff than I usually do on my YouTube channel. You guys, in real life, I speak very, very freely. And, and, and I let everything fly. You got to realize YouTube is where my edited content is. Okay. What you see on YouTube is what I've chose to show you everywhere else on Twitch and on Patreon, those places you see, whatever I say, Hey Hobbs, thanks for moderating, dude. I didn't even know Hobbs was going to come hang out tonight. So that, that, that that's epic. And it isn't going to be a live, uh, a long live stream, probably only about another 10 minutes. Cause uh, dinner's waiting for me downstairs. So I just I just wanted to give you guys one big update because people wanted the room tour. Again, there's the room. It's messy as shit right now, but those are all my boxes in the back with cables, power adapters, electronics, so on and so forth. That's the air conditioner that Link is guarding right there from uh, from Zelda. I even fucked up and called him Luigi the other day. Uh, what's printing? Nothing is printing right now, but there will be lots of stuff printing soon. Air conditioner, because the room requires dedicated air conditioning. I also spruced up my case today. You guys notice my case has a Mario from the Wooden Arcade. That's actually wood. It's like heavily shellacked and painted and everything, but that's wood. I love the stuff they make. There's my 3D print that I got from a fan at Maker Faire uh, years ago. I put that on there. This is my computer setup. Like you guys can see, there's my DJ lights that I use live on stream. Uh, this over here, my 50-inch screens that wrap around me. Uh, a lot of people ask me what I use to control the lighting. That would be that little gem right there. That is a DMX IS from NTech. Fantastic little piece of kit, guys. That is properly a fantastic, legitimate piece of kit. Somebody asked for the specs on my computer. It's a it's an i9 running at four four point eight gigahertz, I think, on the Turbo Boost. It's got one hundred and twenty eight gigs of RAM, four M two SSD drives, uh, and two Titan XPs, the little P's, the Pascal Titans in it. So so she's got she's got some good go juice. Um, I realize it's not on like the latest, latest bleeding edge generation of NVIDIA product, but I'm poor people now. <laughs> uh, you're going to start watching me on Twitch, Ace Dolphin Guy? Awesome. I hope a ton of you guys come watch me on Twitch. Again, after I'm done broadcasting, I'll edit and put all the links and stuff in the video description for all you guys wondering where the hell I am. And again, stay subscribed here on YouTube because there is a lot more YouTube content coming. I need to, I need to get back. I need to get back on the horse. It's been far, far too long. Things are definitely getting better. I can tell you right now, one of the biggest downfalls... Here, before I do that, Chase and Squirrel, look. Nintendo 64 controller laser cut out of metal and painted by a pyro design. That guy, that guy is fucking brilliant. 
absolutely brilliant. Yes, that's a Form 2 3D printer. That thing, that thing's pretty baller if it didn't cost $90 billion per print. Um, oh, oh, and I didn't show you guys this too. That's, that's, another, that's another rack right there of stuff that needs to get reviewed. Everything from FPV drones to lighting, uh, to microphones, to graphics cards, you name it, it's over there. Uh, nothing that I'd consider like bleeding edge or cutting edge like the other big tech tubers. But you know what? I'm, uh, I'm kind of starting over. I'm, I'm kind of starting over because 2018, I want to forget. That was not a good year. 2018 was a terrible year. And I'll tell you what. I got pulled into politics like you guys would not believe. And it, and it was hard not to. I mean, a lot of you guys actually understand. But I regret it. Hey, what's up, Nate? Thank you for that $10 tip. I do appreciate it, man. Said, thanks for doing a live session here. It's been a minute. <laughs> It's been it's been a lot more than a minute. So so I hope that this helps a lot of people catch up with what I'm doing. Um I know it's like seriously like a speed run, but but I just want you guys to know what's going on. But the the political stuff pulled me in like you guys would not even believe. Hey, thank you for that $2 tip, man. I really do appreciate it. Um and it was killing me. It was killing me. And the truth is, I'm not good at tuning stuff like that out. A lot of people are like, oh, just ignore it. Just ignore it. I've never been very good at ignoring things. I'm a very sensitive man that wears my emotions on my sleeve. I always have. Um, I love people. I love humanity. And, and those things don't allow me to really easily disengage. So the better course of action was to do a lot of filtering. So I had a lot of filtering on social media to take out all the blatantly political posts, all the blatantly toxic posts. And by doing that, just for a couple of days, it has improved things so dramatically. I will tell you guys right now, if you're looking for some advice on how to reduce your stress online when you're a, when you're a social media addict like me and I am, I am absolutely by definition of the world a social media addict, I will tell you right now the best way to deal with that is go find all the things that, that, that really, really pull you in. The things that really, really pull you in and that you can't disengage and just slam the door in that shit like you would to somebody, you know, door knocking you as a solicitor. So, and, and the thing is, is yes, there's people out there that can, that can ignore things. There's people out there that can, that can just turn things off. There's people out there that can tolerate anything and claim that, you know, any attempt to block them or not listen to them as censorship, but those people would be wrong. Hey, BCC Matt, thank you for that $10 tip. The truth is it's not censorship. And it's okay if you think it's censorship, but, but factually it's not. Like censorship would be if I threw you in jail for something that you said or I prevented you from being able to speak publicly to people or, or to anybody for that matter. The truth is by me not listening to you or giving you an audience, it's the equivalent of me just not letting you into my house. If I don't like somebody or somebody does nothing but make me feel like shit, guess what? I just don't hang out with them. Then, then I don't hear them. So it's basically the internet equivalent of that, you know? So I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't let those people get to you too much that are trying to tell you that, you know, it's censorship and that you owe everybody an audience. You really don't. You really don't. So, uh, so, the, so the interesting thing is, uh, oh, yeah, in, in my last little political funny thing that I did is today I informed everybody that as of this, and I'll inform you guys too, I am running for president in 2020. If you guys would like to vote for me, I am nor, I, I am nor Democrat or Republican. Uh, my views are, uh, the earth is flat, so it's easy to put a wall around and it'll keep all the asteroids out so that my first order of business will be to erect a giant wall around the ice wall. I know that there's already an ice wall there. If you guys follow the flat earth or truth, um, I'm going to put a big wall around there. It's going to keep the asteroids out. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I promise to be the president that you don't need, uh, and, and that you definitely deserve better. Um, but, but I'll do that anyways. And a vote for me is a vote thrown away directly into the garbage. So just heads up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm out of politics publicly. I mean, I'll still, I'll still do what I can to actually uh, enable real change. I'm going to do everything I can to enable real change. But the truth is me, me telling people what I think uh, about very serious things online, uh, on social media, generally don't really have that good of an impact. Because even if you just provide the data, people are going to just draw their own conclusion. And, and political stuff has become a sports game these days. Like People just back up who they voted for, whoever they put their money on. Hey, Ron, thank you for the $5. Jerry for Prez. Actually, I'm going to get that on a shirt, guys. If you guys want that on shop.barnard.com, bombard me on Twitter. Everybody at Barnacles me on Twitter. That's my most active social network. You guys want a shirt, you tell me to make it, I'm going to do it. Uh, can I do a 2019 setup tour? Yes, the plan is to do a setup tour once I get everything all nice. But right now, the whole room is is pretty trashed. Like, it's and this is actually pretty nice in here considering. But 
Um, I, for you guys that don't know, I'm a hoarder. Like, I mean, I am totally a hoarder. I can tell you guys that right now. I always have been. I know that you watch my videos and everything looks cool in the videos, but realize it's, it, it looks that way for a reason because I make it look that way. I'm going to show you guys the truth. This is the kind of stuff that I show on, on my Patreon, okay? So, actually, this looks a lot better, too. How are, oh, honey, are you watching? Oh, so I was like, I was like, I thought I could hear myself. Miss, yeah. uh, Miss Barnacles, is it okay if I put you on camera? Yeah. So there, there, there's Miss Barnacles down there. If you guys, you guys don't see a lot of her on YouTube, really. You guys see her on Patreon all the time, but. I don't even have a channel set up there, so I need to do that. Yeah, I, I started the stream and I was going to do the, the vlog and I was just feeling kind of frustrated. And then I was like, I'm just going to do it public on YouTube. Yeah. Because I mean, I don't, I really don't care at this point. Like, I, you know, I've been. Ready, by the way. Oh, I know. I figured it was ready like 10, 15 minutes fine. ago. I mean, it, it can be Okay, well, I'll come, I'll come down and meet it here in a little bit. Okay. Are you going to come and say hi? Come on. Show my, my loft? Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was actually coming out here to show the loft. So. Just, like, pulled everything out. The truth is, that's a lot cleaner than it was earlier, though. It, it, yeah, you can move around. It's not as stressful. Yeah. So this is, yeah, no, I, I noticed this, this whole pathway, I had to step over stuff. Um, so, so we just, we have too much stuff. And that whole attic over there is full of stuff. And then this, let's show them the bathroom. So this is a weird jitter. I know, guys. Bear with me. If you guys are the Patreons, don't worry. Jitter 101 tomorrow is going to be completely for you guys, just like the other 99 episodes. If you guys want to see more of the manic, weird, behind-the-scenes stuff, just go to patreon.com forward slash barnacles. I'll link it again below. Enjoy. It's a dollar a month. It just keeps the trolls out. And boy, does it do a good job of it. I, I, I kid you not. It does a fantastic job. Uh, hold on. I think I missed, I missed uh, a super chat. I, well, it's it's weird how it works on the phone. So, but anyways, here this is my bathroom. If you guys are wondering, that's my that's my Microsoft badge that somebody there actually put my my brand image from way back when on. They weren't supposed to do that, but shh, quiet. And then that was actually the the name badge and the number from my office. I was in office thirty five sixteen. If you guys ever want to see it, go to Building Twenty Six on the Redmond Microsoft campus. Go to that room and tell the person in there that they are literally sitting in a YouTuber seat now. And then, of course, no soliciting in the bathroom. But this is uh, this is the current state of the bathroom. Oh, I thought that was my porn kin for a second. I have like a I have like a Halloween pumpkin that's got like dirty images carved into it. You remember that? Yeah. So, you know, bathtub's all full of boxes, you know, just so much crap in here. Although you made the bathroom stuff look a lot better. Yeah. So that looks good. Um, but yeah, that's my bathroom. It's uh, not functional right now. But, they want to but... know if Bat Knight is underneath the table. What? They want to know if Bat Knight is in your desk. Yeah, of course it is. You guys want to see Bat Knife? I just figure I owe them a lot. They haven't seen a lot of stuff, so I'm just spe I'm speed running everything because I figured this will give everybody a little bit of something. Bring up speed what's going on because I've been gone for so long. I don't think I've uploaded a video to YouTube in over a month. Yep. So consider this, your guys. Did you know you have cats? Oh, yeah. Did you guys know I have cats? Everybody on Twitch knows I have cats and everything, but these are my cats. That's Mooter and Booter. They're lovely. And they're usually total assholes, but they have been lovely lately. I will give them that. Hi, girls. Hey, did you boo boo? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, moo. Oh, oh, yeah, moo. Hey, did daddy she moo kitty? Tired. Yeah, she's tired. I can see her Probably eyes. Your, your food. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind. All right, so I'll show you a bad knife. Uh, Mr. Knife Monkey said, how's the weight loss going? Like I said earlier, I'm down 42 pounds. I was down 46. I gained four back, uh, between the holidays, CES and being really wishy-washy on keto. Uh, I gained a little back, but the good news is I was 336 when I started. I still feel way better than I did, but we ain't stop until we lose another 60 plus. So we are going to lose the 60 pounds. All right. So you guys want to know about bat knife, right? So first of all, here's bat knife. This is the OG bat knife that was sent to me by a fan years and years and years ago, cut from soft steel and painted with Krylon. And, and you can see the rust if you guys ever wanted to get the close up on that. So the way that it's stored that a lot of you guys don't see, unless you watch the video, of course, ugh, under my desk here is a cable mess. By the way, that's my ball cooler. I have a fan dedicated to just cooling my, my balls off uh, when I live stream because they do tend to get sweaty and I can control it with the dial on that controller so I can get the breeze just optimal to where my balls stay nice and dry, but I don't shiver on stream. Why is this jitter both live and public? Uh, ben, uh, just changing things up. It's episode 100. Uh, normally I shoot these things and I upload them and they're unlisted and they go on Patreon only. I figured for episode 100, cause it's a new episode or it's a milestone rather, you know, just a round number, if you will. Uh, I figured why not? I'll just make it public. Um, honestly, I haven't been feeling 
uh, super fantastic through 2018. And I I keep second guessing myself on everything and being like, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And it's brought me nothing but pain and suffering. So now I'm just going to go back to the old format of just doing whatever I want, whenever I want and sharing it with the world. (laughs) So, so this right here under my desk, you guys may recognize that as a neodymium magnet from a hard drive. I covered it in hot glue. So if you put a bunch of hawks at a soft surface that won't scratch anything. So, and it's strong too. So here's bat knife. So I just stick it up there like that. So bat knife just sits under the desk just like that. And anytime I need it, I just reach out and I just pull it off the magnet. But this is a strong magnet, guys. Watch this. Ready? <laughs> Look at that. It, it, it does not come off without some force. It's uh, pretty remarkable how powerful those hard drive magnets are. They are very brittle though. So you wanna make sure you mount them to a perfectly flat surface and you don't make them load bearing. Otherwise you will have a problem. Those are my UPSs. I have a cyber power and a trip light. These, these are run all the business of everything so it doesn't fry because we have really shitty power. A lot of people have been asking me how I run my whole DMX setup. I'm gonna give you guys the quick over tour or, or the, the over tour, the tour. So overview, this right here, is another one of my DIY gas and brain trials. That's a Liminator lighting four channel dimmer pack. Now, what that actually allows me to do, guys, what that, what that right there allows me to do is control the voltage to any AC appliance, up to four of them, on individual discrete channels. And through the DMXIS and, and uh, XLR cables, I can actually control everything with that MIDI controller. Well, I can really control it with anything. I can even send commands and script it, just like I do with the lights. See, that's that's my lights. That's red, green, and blue. Those are red, green, and blue. And I can mix the colors by pushing two buttons simultaneously. Kind of cool, huh? So all that is controlled through DMXIS, the controller. The dimmer allows me to control the fans, so like my, my leaf blower. So like I was showing you guys earlier, I can turn this. And that gives me control over, control over my $20 leaf blower that, that does not have a dimmer switch on it. Like they don't, they don't put dimmer switches on these things, but here, I'll show you. So I usually put that between my legs when I'm streaming, <laughs> ladies, and I turn it on. Just like so. I can also turn it on just a little bit. So like if I want it just to have a breeze, like if I want to keep myself cool and keep it quiet, that's just a nice little breeze, right? So one of those things that nobody else would do but Barnacles, because I like to do stuff just because it's weird and unique. And then I worry about the actual use cases later on. <laughs> so that's, that's how I roll. Uh, as far as the continued tour, this is my primary box. Like I said, that's an i9, beefcake, couple Titan XPs. Then I got my server. This is a dual Xeon down here, all built by Puget Systems. We love Puget Systems. They have been fantastic to me and my family. And I still haven't found a company that cares more about customer service than these guys. Like seriously, from, from soup to nuts, it's they're awesome. So that is my dual Xeon box. It has 64 gig of RAM. I think it's got a couple 980 Ti's, nothing, nothing fancy. We, I'm using it mostly for a server and a render box. So I just threw, you know, we just run what we brung in that one. We transferred stuff to the new box. Uh, as far as all my audio, all my audio is controlled through my Am, uh, my uh, Yamaha MG10XU. I did an entire review video on that. Probably the top selling Amazon affiliate link that I have is for that thing. I kid you not. It's it, that that video I did on that has sold more of those things than like anything else, and it blows my mind because it's not a very cheap item. So I didn't expect that. But it's been an absolute workhorse. I love it. I stand behind it. It's been fantastic. So that's what I use to run all my audio. It's also the DAC, so the digital analog converter for my computer. Otherwise, fancy word for a sound card, USB sound card. Uh, For my sound system, I have a Logitech Z5500. Now, these things are super rare now. Like, they, they, they all blew up. Well... I passively cooled mine. Hey, what's up, Andrew? He said, come to North Michigan. You can have some extreme overclocking. Keep your gear and balls cold. Only negative 22. That's insane. I, would, I couldn't survive a negative 22. So this right here, my Logitech sound system is still alive because of some little fans. Let me see. Do I have one around here that I can show you? Yeah, check this out. God, I'm going to have to put a lot of links in the video description if I want you guys to go buy all this shit so I can make some money. But this right here is an Arctic USB fan. These are eight bucks. I I bought 14 of them to date and I use them to actively cool everything because electronics last a lot longer when you keep them cool, especially cable modems, routers, things of that nature. 
These are whisper silent and don't make any noise. I actually learned about them from my buddy Kevlar Condom. His real name's Adam. His parents weren't, weren't so mad that they named him after the condom that broke. But, uh, but at any rate, this fan right here, these things are awesome. If you want to cool something actively, like for instance, this thing overheats. So down underneath, I don't know if you can see it, but there's back in the corner there is the speaker and there's a fan on the other side of it. I don't see it from this angle. But I have a fan cooling the amp on it because the amp on that thing dies if you don't if you don't cool it after a while. So, and if I want to cool stuff like say my computer, you know, let's say I want some active cooling there, I can just plug it in to USB or plug it into a wall wart, like so, and there you go. And you can position it anywhere you want. It actually has a decent amount of airflow. Like if I wanted to cool my my mixer, there you go. Now my mixer board has a nice little breeze blowing over it. So they're, they're super handy, guys. Super, super handy. That's If I ever make a video on my top 10 most recommended tech, that is right behind shower clock radio. I kid you not. It's absolutely amazing. And Xander loves his go-karts, Pyro. He, lo he absolutely loves those go-karts. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that I wanted to show you guys before we start shutting down? Just because I can kind of see the state of the world around me. And we'll go from there. Hey, Martin Pool, thank you for the two, for the, for the two bucks there. DMX everywhere. Damn straight. DMX is awesome. DMX is like the standard for controlling lighting in, uh, in the music and movie industry. And it works great. And it's not super expensive. You can actually play in that game for, for you know, pennies on the dollar compared to what you're probably thinking. Uh, behind my desk, so this is a wide shot of what's going on there. I'm sorry for it all blown out. Guys, I'm shooting this on an iPhone, uh, iPhone XS Max. And I'm going to be the first person... I think I just fucked it up. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't crash. Go away. Is it still streaming? Oh my God. I can't believe it survived that. Usually when I push the volume button, it kills everything. Jaden, thank you for that $2 tip. You generous bastard. You, I appreciate it. So anyways, Jim, how hot is it with you? Uh, very, very hot. Very hot. So this right over here. So those three 50 inch screens, then up above is an ultra wide. I think 30, 37. No, not 37. 20. No. 30 something it's 32 or something anyways so that screen at the top goes to the server down there and then the three main screens go to my main box over here which is my my gaming slash video editing slash everything else box um downstairs i also have a server closet that i built that i'm still that i use the heat byproduct from that space to heat my garage because my garage gets too cold yeah it's a 34 you're right it's a 34 ultra wide xander's in bed right now and he that kid sleeps like a rock so he, he i could yell all i want he won't wake up um, let me show you what, oh, my speakers. So I showed you guys the, Z, the, the speakers, which normally come with these. These are the THX certified Logitech. They sound really good. They're not audiophile speakers, but as far as PCs go, these would pass for any home entertainment system. But I also augment them on the surround sound channel by adding a second set of speakers. These are the uh, Klipsch THX certified speakers from their sound system for a computer. And yes, that's a little uh, Micro Machines X-Wing. I love that thing. That's also MacGyver right there, if you're wondering, not Steve Irwin. And then, of course, Rick. And then an ortholinear keyboard. These things are awesome. It's all cut from billet. I did a review on this, too. Not a big fan of ortholinear keyboard design, but that thing is built like a brick, brick shit house. Also, I have my, my, my uh, shield over here. I got a diecast Dodge Viper a fan sent me. Thank you for that. I think it was SVC or SVT by Viper that sent that to me. Uh, my lighting setup, when I do videos, let me show you guys this. This is like the quickest, like, just tour. I don't know why I decided to do this big tour, but... I figured, what the hell? I'm shooting a jitter. This is my 100th episode. Let's just speed run and show a whole bunch of stuff. And if you're interested, hit that subscribe button and you'll see more quality videos that are granular talking about each thing and, and products and stuff like that. But but let's just, this is the teaser, right? You guys haven't seen me in a while, so fuck it. Let's do it. So this is my lighting setup. That is an aperture light storm, light that's controlled by an RF remote, not, not one of those shitty little uh, LED ones. They're expensive though. They're really expensive. I wouldn't own them if Aperture didn't send them to me. They're, they're just too expensive, but they're fantastic. They're all metal. They're LED. They're cooled with metal fins. And the best part is they can be connected to a DMX controller. I don't have them connected yet because they require a special cable adapter, but they're fantastic. I also have the gels on it to put the color temperature right where I want it so that I get a nice warm picture. So without light, with light. Without light, with light. It's, it's a big deal. So I also just got these little gems. These right here, they're not they're not popped up yet. This is, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but that is an Elgato key light. Let me see if I can make it go up here. Hold on, <laughs> ladies. Let's see if I can make it go up here, ladies. Well, my dinner's getting super cold, but I don't care. I'm having fun. 
So that's a review is coming for this too soon. This is the this is the key light. If you guys haven't seen these, they're they're made by Elgato. They're going to be replacing the aperture lights because I can con I can physically control with the Stream Deck the the color temperature, which is fantastic. Hey Rick, thank you for the two dollars and seventy nine cents, man. So if I get the guts to YouTube, it'll be because of you, dude. So many people message me and say that I kicked them to start their YouTube channels. My series like Codegasm has. I had a guy message me last week, and this is like the best compliment I've ever received. Uh, Matt D, thank you for the five dollars. Said don't let your dinner get too cold. Don't worry, man. I can always heat it up in the microwave. The coolest comment that I got last week was a guy messaged me and he said, "Dude, I just landed a full time gig a few months ago at Microsoft." as a junior developer and he said my codegasm episode from two years ago kicked the whole thing off he he was a he was a fan of mine he watched the codegasm it got him really interested he downloaded my project for a drunk pc and hard drive led modded the shit out of it and then ended up going and taking a bunch of sources uh courses on plural site and linda and uh just just worked and worked and worked and worked hard finished his major at school and literally landed a job at microsoft and as much as i i'm critical of that company that's still a hell of an achievement to get a job at Microsoft. Like that's not a company that just hires really easy, especially in their developer and test divisions where the dev discipline is important. Uh, why not use Google Home instead of DMX? Uh, the reason I opted to use DMX is because it's scriptability. Google Home is very, very limited in what it can do because it's all proprietary and built into the individual appliances. To get that same granular level that you get with DMX is really difficult. Not impossible, but really difficult. Hey, Nate, thank you for that $5. Man, you guys have been way generous tonight. I didn't expect any of these. Also, Raymond, thank you for that $2. Uh, keto diet, other than having some hiccups uh, through the holidays and through CES and arguably tonight because my dinner is not keto tonight, but I've eaten everything else today has been keto. Um, it's been going well. It's been, I'm, I'm 294. Oh, I think I heard some yelling. Hold on a sec. Did I hear yelling? Hello? Yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh, did you, babe? No. Okay. No, never mind. I think it was the cats. No worries. I just, I thought it was the, the kitties are out here making noise because they're mad that they can't come in the room. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'll be done in a few minutes, babe. Sorry this is taking so long. I expected this to be like five minutes, but we got 623 people in here. So, but, but I'm not going to let it go much longer because uh, I got to wake up tomorrow. Okay, All right. I'll be right down. Don't go to bed though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I need to do things to you. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that. Hey, Hachiro, thank you for that $10 tip, you generous bastard. Um, but yeah, don't worry about the guys, the diet. Don't worry, I'm sticking with it. A lot of people are like, oh my God, you failed. You're going to quit. You know, I, I get that a lot. I expect that, but I just filter those comments. Um, they're not productive. The truth is I have to lose the weight uh, because it's really helping with the blood clots in my chest. I went and got my ultrasound two days ago and it turns out my blood clots are finally dissolving. And that's something we didn't think was going to happen. Sparky Santos, thank you for them. Thank you. Thank you for that little tip. I can't believe, I, you know what? I keep forgetting. I was away from YouTube for so long. I kept thinking that this is a really toxic place, but it turns out when you have a little bit of moderation and a lot of filters, the 1% the of negative people just disappear. They don't, they don't get any attention. They get bored and they go away. Uh, let's see here. Can you do more cooking? Yes. As a matter of fact, Miss Barnacles is planning on having her own cooking Twitch channel. So make sure you guys are following me so you get a notice of that. And we're also talking about the potential of Xander having his own uh, YouTube show twice a month on my channel where he just explains his favorite technology or whatever he's currently working on. However, it's fully at his discretion and Miss Barnacles can shut it down for any reason at any time if we do it. And you can pretty much be uh, guaranteed the comments are going to be disabled or heavily moderated. So, well, obviously he's, he's my son. I'm going to protect him no matter what. And it's only going to be if he's interested, if he's not interested, we're just walking away because I've seen too many kids get exploited on YouTube and he's not going to be one of them. He, he loves being on the camera. He loves doing YouTube. The only reason we're even entertaining it is because he keeps bringing it up. So what is Jitter? Jitter stands for Jerry in the Raw. It's a series that I created for my patrons over on patreon.com forward slash Barnacles for $1 a month. Just keep the trolls out where I get really, really personal. And I talk about like what's going on in my life day to day, almost like a journal, like uh, like then a Doogie Howser, you know, where he sits down. And he's like, oh, almost screwed a nurse and, uh, you know, almost got punched out by a drunk hobo. It's that same type of thing that I do there. So uh, it's a lot different format than this. As a matter of fact, I, I, I may even rebrand this as not even being a jitter because it was supposed to be my 100th episode. Uh, this has kind of gone off because normally jitter is not only available to patrons with, the, with rare, rare exceptions. But I figured it was the 100th episode. I just gotten home. I just got out of the shower. Um, and I was like, you know what? I want to go shoot a jitter because I, I was supposed to shoot one last night and I didn't. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go all out today. Let's go all out. Fuck it. You know, we're having a good time. 
So uh, a, a movie wants a shout out. So I just gave a movie a shout out. There you go. I usually don't do shout outs, but there you go. I hope that made you happy. Am I still mining? Uh, no, no. I shut down mining for a while, but it was mainly because of an overheating issue that I had in my closet that I'm still working through. Um, let me see. Is there anything else that I missed that you guys want to take a look at before we wrap up this jitter? Because it's 40 minutes long. It was supposed to only be five. And you guys, you guys have been just hella awesome. So I may have to start doing uh, at least at least a bi-monthly live stream over here. Hey, Andrew, what is up, man? He said, thank you for that $5 tip. He said, do you use an app to keep track of what you eat? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Let me tell you why. I used a program called uh, MyFitnessPal way back when. Works great in the beginning, but then it ends up becoming a huge chore and you start like under tension, lie about stuff and don't put things on there right. I'm taking a different approach. And that different approach is I weigh myself every day. People say that that is a bad idea, but it's not because it allows you to immediately correct when you start seeing a trend upward. It's actually incredibly helpful. And and I my, my eating is very, very consistent. So I don't really have that crazy like gain three pounds in a day, lose three pounds in a day. But it's different for everybody. What I'm going to tell you right now is all I can do is give you advice that worked for me. It may not work for you. The first thing that I, that I found out that, that be successful in weight loss and to be successful in fitness or, or even just being content with yourself is you have to ignore people that will not accept anything but what they say. It's truth. Yeah, and I know that sounds that sounds weird, but no, you absolutely have to. Uh, Slaverick, thank you. Whoa, that can't be right. Slaverick just gave me a hundred sec. I don't know what sec is, but he gave me a hundred of them. So that is awesome, dude. I, I don't even care if it's worth a penny each. You're awesome. Thank you, man. Oh, my God. Dalton, thank you for that $5. Keep up the good work. I'm going to, dude, I'm going to keep on cranking. I'm going to keep cranking. You guys, it's... It's been, uh, it was a rough 2018, but it's going to be an awesome 2019. It's going to be an, oh, hey, what's up, Hawk 3D Proto? It's going to be an awesome 2019. Um, I, I still have some dark days, but, you know, that's a part of me. That's a part of me and a part of my life. And that's not anything that's going to go away. I just have to focus on having more good days than bad days. And I'll, I'll tell you right now that the, the most toxic thing that affects me, and I see it affect a lot of other people, is online social media is very addictive. It's got this instant gratification where when you do something that a lot of people like or you do something that it gets a lot of a lot of upvotes and it makes you feel happy and it makes you have a false sense of, of more self-worth. And then when that goes away or it goes the other direction, it completely guts you as if these people are like your best friends in your family. And you have to disconnect that from that. You have to understand that there's a lot of good people on social media. There's a lot of great conversations to be had, but it's up to you to govern those conversations and seek out what you're interested in and, and engage. You can't let everybody else on the internet hold you hostage to their conversation, especially when it's something you're not even interested in. It doesn't make you a pussy. It doesn't make you a piece of shit. It doesn't make you, it, it, it doesn't make you a libtard. All it does is make you a sane person and it angers people that you can silence them. That's the biggest thing that I've noticed is people get really angry that you can silence them. So they try to give you every single excuse in the book as to why you should uh, you should have to listen to them, why you should have to give them a stage. And the truth is you don't. You, it doesn't matter if you have one follower or a million followers. You don't owe anybody. You don't owe anybody at all. Not a damn person. Jaden, thank you for that $5. said, hey, just wanted to say that you're amazing and you inspire me. Wonder if you could follow me on Twitter. Jaden12300, if that's not okay. I don't do follows on request, Jaden. I, I really do appreciate it. Thank, thank you for the tip, but you, you don't need me to follow you, dude. Just message me on Twitter. If you tag me on Twitter, if, if it's something that I want to engage on and you give me enough time, I probably will reply to it. Like, I am super addicted to Twitter. And notice, I'm not saying I like Twitter. I'm saying I'm addicted to it. Social media is, is, is very, very addictive. That instant gratification of people liking you or that gratification of you feeling like you're more important than the next guy is it's toxic. It's absolutely this toxic, like festering thing that pulls you in. Um, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't love it. I love social media. I love interacting with people. I love that. I love that charge of energy that I get from influencing other people's lives. It's it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, as far as giveaways, no, I am doing a giveaway. Uh, right now, there's a giveaway running. I'll try to link that down below. After I finish my cold dinner, I'll go through and link all the stuff. This video is going to have about a million things linked on it. Um, 
But I'm doing a giveaway of my Kinesis Split Mechanical Keyboard. It's my favorite keyboard on earth. I've been using it for over a year religiously now. Uh, we're also going to be giving away, in addition to that, we're going to be giving away the mouse pad, the vector mouse, which is Kinesis's RGB mouse. It's uh, Other than the RGB aspect, it's, it's not like the most fantastic thing I've ever used. But, I mean, it's a good mouse. It's a good mouse, but just don't expect anything like super, super crazy. Um, I personally like the Logitech uh, 602 Wireless. That's my go-to mouse, and it's cheap as dirt, so it's like win-win. Um, the stream probably is going to stutter a bit because I'm just live streaming it from my phone, which is an iPhone XS Max. Nothing, nothing really fancy. Well, I shouldn't say that. The iPhone XS Max is actually a fantastically expensive and good cell phone. But it's uh, – Wake said, you never respond to my email about buying your shirt. Dude, I get so flooded with emails, I've had to put a million filters in place. So if you want to buy a shirt, all you got to do is go to Merch Minion and talk to them if you're having a problem or if it's something outside of what the site normally does. Just go talk to Merch Minion. They're my printers. They're personal near and dear friends of me of mine in real life. They only live 40 minutes away from me. All the stuff is printed and shipped. Um, am I liking Twitch more than YouTube? Yes, I like Twitch more than YouTube for live streaming. For videos, it'll always be YouTube. No matter what. Even with the CPMs going in the garbage, all the problems with the processing and all the, all the stuff going on with the MCNs and stuff, I don't care. YouTube is where I love putting my final creations. Like, there's no better audience, really, in the world than YouTube. It's, it's, it's just phenomenally awesome. Um, but I do believe you should balance things out. You should have stuff everywhere. Why limit yourself? I even release my videos. You guys may not know, but I, I, I release my videos on Library. And I release my videos on the other cryptocurrency network. I can't remember the name of it to save my life right now, but it's awesome. Andrew Hunt, thank you for the five dollars. Said, "What happened to you and Jane Tech Talk? Did something sour or toxic happen between you? I missed the banter there. The six hundred two is awesome. The five hundred two, the five hundred two is just as awesome as the six hundred two, except for it's lacking the thumb rest and it's corded. I don't like cords anymore. Um, as far as Jay, I'm not going to get deep into that, guys. I'm not going to get deep into that, but let's just leave it at this. Jay no longer wants to have the same relationship that he had with me before. It was his decision, not mine, and he just has." bigger stuff to do he's he's pushing really hard he wants to be you know a big huge studio that works with large corporations and does that and that's not what i want to do and so it's it's hard for him to keep me as a friend when i don't give him what he needs to grow and to become bigger so and that's fine that's fine but i'm just gonna leave it at that uh you know we had a good run though we had a good run i i enjoyed you know most of the time that i spent with jay i enjoyed and even though it came as a shock to me, uh, they, they, he, they, he, you know, pretty much thought that I was just a dumpster fire online at this point and no longer worth his time. Um, I still love the guy. I do. And if he comes back at some point and shows some kind of interest, like if his YouTube channel slows down or, or, you know, things come down and, and he wants, he wants to talk again or do something or play a game. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. And he has an amazing family. I love his family. We share a lot of the same friends and everything like that. So just to be fair, it's, it's, it's not, it's, it, I understand where he's coming from. And honesty is a big part of me in 2019 because honesty is just easier to keep track of lies. The truth is I, I pushed Jay away by being such a toxic person online. I was never toxic to Jay, loved him like a brother, but Jay has to work with a lot of brands. He has to work with a lot of his viewers that don't like me, don't like my political views, don't like the way I look, don't like how much I weigh. All, all those things, he, he, does, he can't risk losing them. He can't risk losing those people because for him, this is a business. He has payroll. He has people. So I fully understand and accept liability that, that I forced him in, in some ways to push me away. It still ultimately was his decision, but, but realistically, I was not the best person to be aligned with in 2018 if you wanted to work with companies and you wanted to have those huge sponsorships and stuff like that. So mainly because of my political views. My political views were, were the biggest, the biggest killer. So, and unfortunately the internet, you know, a, a lot of you guys also kind of drove things apart because, you know, you guys would compare and vice versa. And it was one of those things where it's like that, all that led to do was just, just cause more toxicity between us. So if, if your goal was to break things up, I mean, I guess, congratulations. Uh, but the one thing I would like to ask of you, because I love you guys and I love Jay, no matter what, what, how he feels or, you know, I, I haven't even talked to him in like over a month, month and a half, maybe two months. Um, didn't even see him at CES or anything. He said he had no time at CES, uh, but I still love the guy. I love the guy and I know he's still in there and I just know it's, you know, once you grow this big and you're fucking around with people like Terry Crews and Dead Mouse and all these big celebrities and big companies are putting you up on podiums and stuff. I know, I know that that is an intoxicating wave that you have to ride. And the truth is, when I was coming up, maybe not to his same extent, I had a boost where everything was like flying and going crazy. And, and to be honest, I got a little big for my britches too. So 
but uh, but you know, it's it's something to be expected. It it happens. Friendships in this business, they they they're they're on and off. They really are. I know who my true friends are and my true family are. I know the people that stick beside me. Uh, people like Adam, my buddy Kevlar Condom. Through good, bad, and everything in between, that guy is stuck by my side. Uh, you know, tons, tons, and tons of other people like Graham Lang. Same thing. I'll always, no matter what, ride or die. Those are my family. Those are my friends. And and you always know your friends uh, more than anything when you have nothing to give them. When when you are no longer of benefit to your friends, like monetarily or or th for fame and stuff like that, you will really quickly find out who your real friends are. Uh, S4G Studios, thank you for that $5. He said, will you be at LTX? Could I interview? If I'm at LTX, you you absolutely can interview me. Anybody can. Hawk3D Proto, thank you for the $5. He said, I watch you on Twitch. You inspired me to start streaming. Uh, I've done seven streams and just reached affiliate. Dude, that's awesome. That is fantastic news. I love, I love inspiring people, and I'm glad that I can inspire so many of you guys, honestly. So... Uh, oh, and the other thing I just want to say before I end the whole thing, because people talk about jail time. There's no way to avoid it. I've tried to avoid it. It's like, you know, I, I, I tried to just make excuses for a very long time. Actually, no. Now now it's just just people just need to know the truth and get over it. Um, but we had fun. I don't want anybody hassling Jay, though. Just just realize that the whole that, that a big part of the reason why I believe I was pushed away. And I'll never know this because the only time I ever hear from him is if something's controversial said on Twitter that brings any kind of fallback to him, then he'll jump on the thread and, and rail on it or rail on me. But uh, but just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Jay is doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. That's how it's going to be moving forward. If we do stuff in the future because it's somehow mutually beneficial, so be it. Business relationship. Right. Um, but but don't expect it to go back to the way it did. It, it just can't, it just can't. It was, it was too toxic for me too. So it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I need to focus on the things that I believe make me happy and help my family. And I need to stop putting myself out and, and really, really put myself out there to defend people and to help people and everything, you know, to no end. Like I, I just got to stop doing that. Uh, let's see here. Scrolling on up here. Yeah. Friends are free of charge. The real ones are. The real ones are, um, and, and that's absolutely true. Just know, just, it's just realize though, guys, that friendships do come and go. That's, that's kind of why the difference between friends and family. It really is. Uh, let's see your family first. Absolutely. Yes. I'm getting back into 3d printing Hawk 3d proto. As a matter of fact, I've, uh, I've still got the CME CNC Artemis review to do. It's way, way overdue. Uh, it's sitting out in the garage. I also got all the atomic filament that I'm going to be working on. Uh, Sin Format, thank you the five dollars. He said, "Do you accept fan mail? Have an address. I'd love to watch fan mail unboxing." Absolutely, absolutely. If you guys would like to send me anything, it's PO Box two seven nine, Duval, Washington nine eight zero one nine. I'll try to remember to link that in the description. If not, it's on other videos. I think it's even on my Twitch stream down in the in the panels. But yeah, no, I love I love getting stuff in my PO Box. Um, you know, I don't get a ton of stuff there, uh, depending on the volume of stuff coming into it is going to determine like what I'm capable of, of unboxing on live streams and stuff like that. But no, I'd be happy to. I love, I love getting letters from you guys. Um, I love getting little gadgets and gizmos from your guys. Matter of fact, a lot of the little die cast toys I've gotten like that over there, the Viper, this guy, a lot of the stuff has come from you guys. It's been absolutely amazing. So, uh, so anyways, anyways, I hope you guys are doing fantastic though. Um, I didn't expect this episode it was because uh, Jerry and the Raw episode 100 is, is a milestone for me. I've been on, I don't know how long I've been on Patreon, but when I was on Patreon, I committed to making a video every, every two days or so uh, that talks and I get pretty deep on there. If you guys go over and join my Patreon again, it's $1 a month and yes, it helps support me. It helps support my family. Of course it does. There, um, and it's because, you know, I need to support my family while I do what I do there. I, I make no, no mistake about me making a living online and when make money from you guys. And when I don't and stuff, I've never, I've always been very transparent on that. And I always will. Um, but the idea being is on Patreon, that $1, just $1 every 30 days keeps all the trolls out. We have 763 patrons, at least last I checked. And of those 763 patrons, not a single one of them is a troll. I've been able to engage on every comment. I've been able to read everything that's posted there because it's a small audience and have had zero trolls. It is seriously just a nice safe haven to be able to open up and talk about literally anything. Sometimes sitting on the shitter, sometimes sitting in the bathtub. Like literally I, I can do it anytime I want, anywhere I do. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to start spinning down because I really want to go eat that freezing ass cold dinner now. 
And uh, and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Um, I'm already working on coming back to YouTube. As a matter of fact, the big hurdle that I need to jump over was get back into coding. That instantly sparked my interest like you guys would not believe. And writing that plugin for the Stream Deck, which is going to probably be out here in a week, um, is going to be awesome. It's, it's a hard drive LED, but when I'm done with it, it's going to be way more than that, you guys. Any single piece of data that you can gather through a WMI performance counter, so imperf counters are very common throughout Windows, you will be able to bind it to a button and display it graphically or with text. And the idea is my two stream decks, I'm going to have two of them side by side. Both of those stream decks are going to be able to show telemetry all the time, including my upstream, how many dropped frames I have in OBS, all the stuff that they don't support. I'm going to start adding it on as I need it. That's the goal. All right, so there will be coding videos. All right, let me start shutting down the lights up here. So I use my little controller, light one, light two down. Uh, I turn the monitors on and off with the controller. Oh, guys, thank you for that support. Wake Border, thank you for that 10 bucks. He said, please continue the C-sharp tutorials. That is the plan. I, I, I made six original Codegasm episodes, and I'm planning to make a whole lot more. Nate Carter, thank you for that $5. He said, you going to Emerald City Comic Con? Yes. Well, I, I can't say absolutely, but yes, the goal is to go to Emerald City Comic Con if I can obtain a pass. I already got people I can stay with in Seattle if I don't want to drive in and do the, do the, do the fighting for a parking spot thing. Um, so I gave you guys a pretty good view of the room. You guys saw everything. The computer's down below. Uh, if you guys want to see my NAS, that's the QNAP back there with 38 terabytes of storage. I use that for, uh, for basically storing all of my backups from the computer. And then, of course, my custom bracket system. I, I, I shot a video and never edited it, but how to use a 6040 aluminum extrusion to make camera mounts and lighting mounts. So the ADHD in me is hugely strong, guys. It, it has been and it, al it always will be. And the goal is to harness that back into creating video content uh, without putting a ton of effort into the video content, but more into the idea behind the video and sharing the experience. Because this whole going with like professional camera equipment, I say professional lightly, right? This, this, this PWX Z90V. The whole reason that I went this route was because I was chasing a bunch of other big YouTubers that, 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 you know, they really upped their quality in their game and everything. And I thought that that was a necessity and it absolutely is. And if you guys look, a lot of popular channels are still using archaic equipment because it's not the quality. I mean, audio quality does, it does matter to a certain extent, but honestly, people watch video for the content. They watch it to be able to relate to something and learn something and laugh at something. They don't watch it because it was shot in fucking log and edited with S log three and color profiles and LUTs and, and, and then imported into five other programs with Adobe after effects shit. Like there may be like 2% of the people out there that watch for that, but you guys, my audience have never been that people. You guys have always just wanted to come along for the ride. Universal opponent, think of that $10. He said, well, I'm certainly mixed on you and Jay, but I support you both no matter what. And I'd have it no other way. You guys, if you're supporting Jay, please continue to do so. Jay is a... Just because he doesn't... Uh, friendship's no longer beneficial in his eyes um, doesn't mean that that makes him any less of a, of a good entertainer. He's a good entertainer. He's very good at what he does. He's very professional. And he puts a lot of time into his craft and everything he does. And I still watch his videos sometimes. Uh, Darian Desrosier, thank you for the $10 from Candace. How's your week? My week was very good. Uh, if you missed the beginning of the show, once it's published, you should, uh, you should watch it again. Um, because there was a lot in here. Shit, we're just about to hit, we're just about to hit an hour. That's crazy. Well, guys, before I end, why don't I just take you downstairs really quick and show you the networking closet, um, so that you guys can see what I'm trying to attempt down there. And I'll give you a quick little shot of the dirty ass garage and the new 3d printer that I'm working on. And, uh, this isn't the room tour, just so you guys know, this is a Jitter episode. This is specifically normally only for patrons. Um, so I'm just giving you the quick and dirty overview, but don't worry. There will be a proper room tour and a proper makerspace tour and all that stuff once once I get all my shit together. All right, so let me go ahead and close down the, the nerd cave for a night. Good night. It's my nerd cave. You can see I got my little, my those light signs sign. I love that thing. But I love this room. It's a, When it's clean, it's a nice place to be. And you guys want to see one of the first 3D prints I ever did? My light switch, still to this day. My light switch, because every time I come into this room, it comes on me. No, I mean, it turns me on. No, no, I, I knew I had that wrong. It turns me on. So every time I come into this room, it turns me on. So there you go. That's that, that's my little story behind the light switch. Yeah, it comes on me. didn't sound right. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? Oh, you guys want to see my, my little accolades? My first flight certificate, Dirt Fish, a Hero Award signed by Jim Alchin, uh, Brian Valentine, Will Poole, and Bob Muglia. Uh, multiple dirt fish certificates. I've driven rally cars, flown airplanes. I tried to do everything that they said fat people couldn't do well, and I did it well. Okay, let's see. There's my kitty again. She's sitting on the... Don't fall, girl. Don't fall. Okay, be safe. 
All right, let's go down here. Oh, this is my, you guys, you guys want to see the attic really quick? Holy shit, she did do some work. Okay, so the attic all the way from the door is pretty stuffed. You guys can kind of look back there. A lot more space for us to move stuff into. You guys notice the Barnacles Nerdgasm Episode 7 Stormtrooper armor right there? That suit took six months to create and was only ever worn once. Not something I ever want to do again. Next time, I'm going to make sure that the stuff that I make gets used way more than they say. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'm get, dude, I'm getting thirsty too. My throat is really dry. I never intended for this video to go this long, but you guys have been so supportive. How could I literally stop? Uh, hold on here. I'm just, I can scroll through the chat on the phone. It's actually pretty good. I do like the phone interface for live streaming on YouTube a lot more than I like uh, Twitch's interface for streaming. But the thing I like about Twitch is even though it's a smaller community, it's it's much more personal the way that I, the way that you interact with people and everything like that. And the mods have a lot more control. Um, they take a lot less from the tips because I can do direct tips directly through PayPal. I don't have to use the super chat, which I think they take like fifty percent or something. That's ridiculous. Anyways, this is my closet. Last thing I want to show you guys. Well, second to last. So this is. My networking closet. Let me see. Can I turn the camera around? There it is right there. So this, uh, I normally turn off, but I got my security system camera here. Uh, I've got my, my dual band router. I got my modem. I got a UPS with everything. But back here is my server rack. And that's my 8 GPU mining rig down below built by Puget Systems. It's a rack mount. It's not on right now because it's super, super loud. And then I have a 32 terabyte, um, it's either 28 or 32 terabyte NAS from Synology down there. And then all the heat rises up along the back wall and goes out through this push-pull configuration of 130 CFM fans. And then that takes the heat and redistributes it to my garage, which isn't heated. So if I open this up, oh, it's actually not too dirty out here this time. So this, this is my garage or maker space with my other 3D printers. Uh, and you can see my cats knocked this down and broke it the other day. I almost cried. That was my Dell touchscreen Windows 10 box. It's really old. But it's, uh, but yeah, she, she, she's died. I got to give her, I got to figure out how to replace the glass because the screen is still good. Just the glass broke. But that's the CME CNC Artemis. That's going to be the next 3D printer review that I do. And uh, I'm also going to be reviewing Wise Cams. These guys right here, they're awesome little cameras that are like 20 bucks or something on Amazon. Maybe I'll put a link down below. I have affiliates for all this stuff, guys. Helps me out when you guys buy this stuff. But this uh, this right here is like a $20 IP camera that works with a phone app and you can use it. And I use them for monitoring 3D prints because you just stick them on the 3D printers. They're a lot cheaper than a GoPro. Um, you can access them remotely. It, they're, they're fantastic. And then of course there's Budacles, who I accidentally burned and he melted a little bit. Uh, fix the screen on the camera, what do you mean? Uh, which camera? But anyways, this is this is my garage. If you guys wonder, and check that out up there. That right there is a Thrustmaster A10 Warthog Hotas. As soon as I do the review on the 16,000, I'm going to do the review on that so that you guys can see a comparison of the crazy, crazy simulator grade stuff or the or the the other stuff, right? And then of course all my tools and everything on the yard. Lots of stuff that's not really organized either. My life is so unorganized, guys. That's what I'm going to work on. All right, guys. Well, it's been 63 minutes, a little over an hour. This is a long jitter. Usually, I try to keep them around, you know, maybe between 20 and 40 minutes. Um, but I had a lot to update you guys on. A lot of you guys watch this live. I'll go ahead and set it public so everybody else can watch it. Screw it. I was going to do it unlisted. But just for this jitter, I'm going to do it because a lot of people have been wondering where I'm at and what's going on. I just wanted to update them so that they know kind of what to expect and what is going on. And give them somewhere to put some visceral comments because they're getting bored putting the shitty comments on the old videos. So I figured I'd give them some new ones to put them on. <laughs> I can hear the cat scratching on the door trying to get in here. She's like, why are you out there? And I'm not. All right. I love each and every one of your faces. If you guys would like to see more of these jitter type videos, actually, they're completely different than what you just watched. This is barely a jitter. My jitters are usually me having a heart to heart with the camera on what's going on with any given day. It's designed for a smaller audience. They're not designed for huge mass consumption. And, uh, and I only serve them on Patreon because there's no trolls on there. It turns out trolls are, are very, very critical about being anonymous. And as soon as you have any kind of payment method, it, it kind of screws that up. And then they can go through loops and stuff if they want to troll, but then they get deleted and to create a new account when you have to back it with a dollar. You notice trolls just don't do it. They don't do it. I haven't had a single troll. I can't believe it. Like not even a try. So it's been an amazing experience. So, um, you know, I'm going to do whatever makes me feel good and I'm going to do whatever makes me the most capable of making content that not only I'm proud of, but other people can enjoy, enjoy and the majority of people can enjoy. Not try to focus on the negative and angry minority that just keep on making life a living hell. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I'll catch you guys later. All the links are down in the video description. If I missed a link to something, just leave a comment down below and tell me what you want the link to, and I will go and add it to the description or put it down in the comments for you guys so that you guys can find everything. Because when you buy stuff on Amazon through my affiliate links, it does absolutely help me out. It helps out all, any YouTuber that says, oh, buy this, I'm not making any money. No, bullshit. They, they, they are in one way or another. We all are. This is something that we don't only do as a hobby. A lot of us do it as our jobs like I do. And when you have a job, you got to get paid for what you're doing. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to keep doing it. So that's just how, that's how it works, guys. Love it or hate it. All right, guys, I will put the P.O. box. Don't worry. I, I got to eat my food first. But later on, just check back tomorrow in the video description. I should have all the information down there, like my P.O. box and links to the products and stuff like that. And also come over and check out my live stream. If you guys want to see more raw Jerry like this, um, check out Twitch TV forward slash Barnacles. It's, it's been a fantastic journey. I stream on there Monday through Friday, unless I'm having some kind of a medical issue or I have an appointment or something that I have to keep. And, uh, the last thing I'm going to say is tomorrow I'm going to see the Spider-Man movie. So no spoilers, please. In the comments, I would appreciate that at least till day after tomorrow. And, uh, and I'll let you guys know what I think about it after tomorrow. All right. Well, that was a shitload of stuff that happened over the last hour. And I hope that you guys could digest at least some of it. I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, and also on Patreon, you can DM me. So if you guys become a patron, feel free to introduce yourself. And I don't know how to stop this. Do you guys know how to stop the YouTube stream on Twitch? There's like a little stop button. What do I got? What do I got to do here? I think I got to push that little X.